for the fight to end now. When it was just getting interesting, I think not. <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys, today we're going to be talking about the Marauder Trap. If you guys haven't seen the Marauder Gear Set, which is one of the best gear sets in late end game, you can click the card in the top right and go on the screen to go to my video about that. But today we're going to be talking about the Marauder Type traits and essentially what they do. So the Marauder Trap has a specific ability to it called Hail of Boats. Essentially what that means is double crossbows. And double crossbows are super useful. Reason why is if you have them on your team, double crossbows or the Hail of Boats ability can actually wound up doing a bunch of damage against an enemy captain or war chief as well as key keeping them at bay. Every time they fire these dual crossbows, it stops the enemies in their tracks and even sometimes pushes them back. And also, if somebody is dazed by, you know, archer shots and essentially like getting shot by a bow, this can actually help out a crap ton as well. If you send these guys against somebody who's like that, the dudes will be basically dazed for days on end. They will never not be dazed. So on top of that, you will also have battle chests as well. What I mean by battle chests is you will have where when you go to outposts, they will be little chests full of mirror in there for you to go ahead and loot and get like about 100 to 200 mirin or something around those range you will also have where if you put these guys as overlord on top of that this goes with the whole like finding chests and the outpost set situation the biggest thing that the marauder tribe is going to offer to your army is actually them being an overlord i know it sounds crazy but it's going to offer that and on top of that would be their gear if you can slay them and get the gear for in-game reasons those are going to be the best bets okay so the reason why they're really good as overlords is because they increase the drop chance of the rarity of what gem you get in the region and they also bring out more enemies that have rare gems in the region as well now why do you need gems gems are super important because without gems the game becomes very very hard late game when it comes down to it they you know give you essentially more damage they make it so you know you get more health different things along those lines and without gems later on in the game you're going to suffer a lot so when it comes down to it the marauder trap is just going to simply be there to get you more mirian throughout it you know there's some mirian chests throughout the outpost and then the biggest thing they're going to offer is the fact that you're going to get better quality gems throughout the region and more gems throughout the region. Again, as one of the biggest things for having them branded and actually in your army and not as an overlord, is they're going to have that hail of boats ability to where they can just essentially rain down on enemies and just boo 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 and keep them away from your army at bay. They're going to be able to stun those guys. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.